The concept of the soul in the Bhagavad Gita can be related to the concept of energy in modern physics. In the Bhagavad Gita, the soul described as an eternal and indestructible entity that exists within every living being. This idea is similar to the concept of energy in physics, which cannot be created or destroyed but can only change forms. In physics, energy is the capacity of a system to do work. It exists in different forms such as kinetic energy, potential energy, thermal energy, etc. According to the law of conservation of energy, the total energy of an isolated system remains constant, meaning that energy cannot be created or destroyed, but it can be transformed from one form to another. Similarly, the Bhagavad Gita teaches that the soul is eternal and indestructible, and it exists within every living being. The soul is said to be the source of life and consciousness, and it transcends the physical body. When a living being dies, the soul is said to leave the body and take on a new form in the cycle of birth and death. This idea is similar to the concept of energy in physics, which transforms from one form to another but never truly disappears. Therefore, while the concept of the soul in the Bhagavad Gita may be considered a spiritual or religious idea, it can be related to the concept of energy in physics, which is a fundamental concept in the modern understanding of the universe.